Hey guys, hope all of you are doing good. Uh, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting question again asked in tech companies. So we are given this table like we have the name of the person, their weight in kilograms and their turn to enter the lift. Okay, so all these people want to enter a lift and we are asked to find the last person who can enter the lift if the maximum capacity that the lift can hold is 1000 kilograms. Okay. And there is a note given that people enter in order of the turns, which means Gautam will enter first, then Janani will enter second, Tanish will enter third and so on. Okay. They cannot enter the lift in any random order. Gautam has to enter first, Janani has to enter second and so on. Okay. And given that the total is 1000 kgs, we are asked to find who will be the last person to enter the lift. So if we do just a max calculation here, Gautam 250 plus Janani 300, 550 plus Tanish 400 makes it 950. Since maximum capacity is 1000, only these three can enter the lift, right? Because if Williams enters the lift, the total will be 1150, which is greater than 1000. So basically, by just looking at the table, we can find out only three people can enter. And of course, the last person to enter will be Tanish. Okay. But how do we find this in SQL, right? How did we, you know, do these additions and all? And how do we do it in SQL? So I have selected star from the table. Okay. And in order to find this running sum or cumulative sum, we can do sum of weight. Okay. Over and simply say order by turn. Okay. And give it as a name, right? Running sum or something. So when I do this, you see for Gautam, it's 250. For Janani, it's basically 250 plus 300. For Tanish, it's 250 plus 300 plus 400 and so on. For Williams, it's the sum of these four values, right? So by doing this, we find out that uh, when you now we see the running sum for Williams, it already crosses 1000. Okay. So how can we put a condition that it's below 1000 or something? For that, we can use a with clause like put this into say a sub table. I would say with A as Okay, and uh, basically, let me just drag this to the same line. Yeah, so with A as something, and now I can select everything from A. Okay, where running sum less than or equal to thousand because thousand is the limit, right, for entering the lift. Total weight it can hold is only thousand. So when I do this, what we'll get is so we'll get, you know, wherever the running sum value is below 1000. That is why row number four, which had Williams is gone because running sum was 1150. Okay. Now in this, how do we find out who is the last person entering the lift? So we could simply say order by turn descending. Okay. By doing that, we know the last person entering the lift is actually Tanish. So we can simply say name right select name from a okay order by turn descending and since we just want to show the first row's name we can simply put say a limit one so by doing this we will get only the first row value we are limiting it to only one row and uh, we get the value tanish which is the answer for the question right last person to enter the lift if the maximum capacity was thousand so we basically leveraged this concept like the over class we are basically doing a running sum we put it within a width class and then from there we are just selecting the name where the condition was running sum less than or equal to 1000 of course order by term descending because we want to find the last person entering the lift and since i wanted only that first row i just limited it to one and we get the answer okay i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in another video till then take care bye